guys, today I'm going to create some pretty acrylic dip ornaments. And I'm super excited because I got the new, this new silicone mat from Loli Vifi, also working on their jumbo silicone mat to protect my surface. But this mat is extra special because it has, I'll fold it over, it has triangles, so it holds the ornaments up off the ground, so that way the paint will just drip off the side of the ornament and not pool underneath and wreck the uh, surface. So I think that's going to be really awesome. Make sure to place the mat on a level surface, because this is going to be your drying area with these mats, which I'm super excited about because they're flexible, they're silicone, they're going to be easy to clean because they're silicone. And we're going to give it a new whirl. I also wanted to create a large paint skin for creating either a tumbler, or wrapping a tumbler with it, or even doing some other art with the paint skin. But I wanted to use my Northern Lights color combination to create it. So I'll be using the Color Shift Acrylic Paint Metallic. It's got a gloss finish. This one's called Aqua Flash and it's from Color Shift. I use Artist Loft Brilliant Blue and also Black, which is just Artist Loft Black. So this one, you don't need very much black. So mostly it's going to be these two colors, which I absolutely love together. And I thought I would mix the colors today for you. I got these ornaments. You can get them off Amazon. They come with, uh, they're beautiful little laser cut ornaments. There's a link in the description if you're interested for all the products today. And they come with little ties to put on for your Christmas tree, which are really cute. There's like snowflake, there's stars. There's a whole bunch of different kinds that you can use. So we're gonna dip acrylic dip with some of these today into the paint skin or paint surface. That's why I love these mats is because I can pool paint on them and it works out awesome. Okay so I've got my cups. I thought today I would just mix with you guys. Make sure your paints are well mixed. And I've got my flow trawl here. Make sure your flow trawl is well mixed too because oftentimes these sit on the on the shelves in let's say an Amazon warehouse or a store and then it's it'll separate. You'll see that it's not milky anymore. You might get a clear liquid that comes out. So if you do, that's because the flow trawl bottle is not mixed well. So just give it a good shake. That way you know it's mixed up really good. I use mine all the time, so it's probably mixed pretty good, but I have the small cup just for black because I don't want to use too much black. Black can be very overpowering, and if you use too much, it'll just end up all black. So I'm just going to coat the bottom of the cup just like so. And these are fun ornaments you can make with your kids and you know, I bet you they would love to do acrylic dipping because it's a super fun little craft they can do. We need some popsicles. Oh, I got the stir sticks. <laughs> so I also got a bunch of fun stir sticks from Loli Vifi, which are really cool. I do have a huge box of popsicles still left, so I'll have to use them up too. But these you c I can wash and reuse, so that's really awesome. So I put in a little, like I say, start with a one-to-one -one ratio, but then you can always add a little bit of extra flow troll to make sure that your, your consistency is fairly runny, just like so. It's actually pretty good. So this is a little bit more than a one to one ratio right now. I kind of poured about one and a half to one for the black. I'll probably use the entire bottle of Color Shift. Whoop. 
So this is two fluid ounces of color shift, but I'm going to make a really large paint skin. So that's why I'll use up the whole bottle. A trick to get uh, with these little bottles that you can get to allow the, all the paint to pour out. I just, I should have done it before I opened the cap. But you take a little bit of painter's tape, just like this, and just tape your little bottle in your solo cup here. I'm using a, just a solo cup for now. Just like so, and just let it sit, and all that paint will just pour right out. So that's a cute little tip if you guys want to get all the paint out of your bottle. You can add Floetrol into the bottle and try and get it out too, but the ratio might be a little bit off. So I just do that and I let it drip for a little while to make sure it all kind of comes out. Just making sure I can <laughs> see you guys. All right, so that is the color shift. And then this is Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. So I will fill the bottom of this solo cup as well, probably around the same amount as the color shift. It'll be about two ounces of paint, just like so. And then I'll add my Floetrol, cover it, add a little extra. It's okay if you add extra flow draw. You don't want to water down your paint. So adding extra water will just won't be as proficient as adding extra flow draw. So I just mix this up really, really good. Sometimes if you have old paint that's been sitting for a while, you're gonna see that it gets a little bit chunky because I can see some chunks in it. The way to fix this is to just let the paint sit in the flow trawl for a little while. So mix it up, definitely first, as best you can, like give it a good tossing. And then if you're still seeing some little chunks and stuff, just let this sit for like an hour and those, those chunks of paint are gonna dissipate into the flow trawl. They will, they will go away, so it's just a, little bit of patience and then this will this will be nice and smooth it's not looking too bad right now this paint isn't super old it's a little bit old but not as old as some I have besides you gotta wait till this one is finished dumping out anyways And I take a good portion of paint. So don't just dip in and lift up like this. I take a nice good portion of paint, lift up and see how that's dripping off of the popsicle stick or spoon or mixing stir sticks like these. These are from Loli Vifi as well. And you can get 10% off your entire order if you use my code Gen10. So if you head over to lolivifi.com so you're gonna see I added a little bit extra flow trawl. And that's just because it wasn't coming off the stir stick quite as fluid as it is now. So it's really just totally pouring off now, which is what you want for consistency. And there we go, brilliant blue. And this one's still pouring out. It doesn't take too long. I'm gonna grab some water. Now you still have to add a little bit of water to your mixture. This is gonna help really react with the cells. Maybe half an ounce in that one. Oops, well, maybe half an ounce in that one as well. I might've put too much in there, but that's okay. I'm not gonna use lots of black because it's so powerful. And then just mix that water in really good to your mixture. We haven't added any silicone yet. We are just doing the beginning mixture for our acrylic dip. This one I added water. So I put, yeah, I want to say like half an ounce. 
to this one because there's more paint in the solo cups obviously they're much larger there we go that's looking really good you can kind of tell by when you're stirring how thick it is how loose it is I know it's hard sometimes when you're first starting out to get really big cells or perfect cells I say don't give up because you'll get there it just is a matter of practicing and mixing some people get it right off the hop which is awesome but some it takes a little bit I do know that Floetrol does add like help create cells so that's why I always recommend it I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this consistency and I'd say that's the hardest part about acrylic pouring is the consistency All right, this brilliant blue is looking pretty good. Yeah, just like that, it's coming off really, really liquidy, like very runny honey. I know some people are annoyed when we always refer to it as honey or stuff. It's just hard to explain the consistency and what it is. So this one, I will probably scrape out the last of that bottle, but because you guys are here, I'm just going to go and use this. So I've added a bunch of Floetrol to the Color Flash. Now the Color Flash and these metallics tend to mix up with Floetrol really good because they are a little bit thinner of a paint. So if you have a thicker paint, you might end up adding way more Floetrol. If you have a thinner paint, like these metallics in the color shift, you'll end up probably doing a one-to-one -one ratio, maybe a little bit extra Floetrol in there, just a little, you know, more than one-to-one -one for the thinner paints. Because you're going to see, like, look, it's already just, it's just pouring right off. It's super liquidy. Now I still do add a little bit of water just to react with the silicone. So I'm just going to add a little bit in here and just mix it in really, really good. Another key thing is to mix, mix, mix. And if you think you're done mixing, mix a little more <laughs> because these are, you'll find that you get paint that just sticks to the bottom in the corners and you really want to get all that paint so you don't get inconsistent amount. That's looking pretty good right there. Okay, I should grab paper towel. Always good to have paper towel on hand with acrylic pouring because it's very messy. So we don't need the water or the tape but I do need the silicone. So this is one that I got off Amazon just here in Canada. I have links in the description for silicone. Most of all the 100% silicones work really great. I've had to buy a few different kinds. So I'm gonna put two drops in each of these. That one's a little bit longer of a drop. And that should be good. And then I just push it down into the paint. I don't really mix it a huge amount. I just kind of push it down. The more you mix the silicone in, the smaller your cells are going to be. So just an FYI, if you vigorously mix that silicone in there, you're going to get very tiny cell formations. Most people, if you want tiny cells, then yeah, totally give it a really good mix but if you just want the nice bigger ones which I'm kind of hoping for on my paint skin I just push it down a bit I'm gonna move my new silicone mat out of the way for a sec so I'm on the other silicone mat which is just the flat one there's sparkles on it and stuff from other projects I've been doing but that's okay they'll be on the bottom side of the paint skin so to start, let's 
go like that. I'm just going to pour my paint uh, right onto the silicone mat because the these silicone mats are perfect for dipping, paint skins, all that kind of stuff. In a nice large area, like so. This is such a pretty color, this aqua flash. Now I am keeping a little bit of paint in here just in case after I do all the dipping I want to add color back in to kind of make it a little bit more consistent for paint skin. And because I don't want to use too much black, I'm going to use this really awesome stir stick because it has a nice big paddle on the top to just add a little bit of black. Black, a little black goes a long way and I don't want to mess that up. There we go. Just moved you guys center a little bit. So I just kind of pull my paint up a bit and kind of pull it like so. And you're probably wondering what the heck, but you're going to see these cells really start to grow. Now we are doing ornaments. So I'm not too worried about creating the paint skin right now because I'm going to dip. So I kind of just pulled all the paint together so that I can dip into it. It's a nice big pool. I'm seeing, oh yeah, you can see the edge of my nice little new mat. And you just take the wooden ornament. It does get messy, so have paper towel, especially if you have kids. Maybe make them wear an apron or whatnot. And you just dip right there Ooh, into the paint and it looks super pretty I'm going to put it right on the edge there so you can see it now the nice thing about this being silicone as well is I don't have to worry about torching the paint on my ornament because this is all silicone so it's not going to catch fire or anything. It's going to be a lot safer. That's for sure. And I love that this is all just going to drip down onto the mat. So just find a spot. You can let it kind of drip off. If you want, you can do a fun, like you could take this and kind of do a little squiggle if you want for a line. If you wanted to add a line onto your ornament, you can totally do that. I mean, you don't just have to dip. Beautiful. I got some snowflakes. Let's try these ones. These are super cute. Big snowflake. I think I'm going to go... I want a little bit more of this color flash. So this is why I saved some. It's because you can add color back into your pour here. And then you can dip in that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to have to move these around a bit, make more room, but that's why I save a little bit of paint is that if I want to add more of one color back in, I totally can. These are super pretty. You'll see the bubbles, so that's what the torching is for. It's going to help get those bubbles popped so they don't dry funny. So here are the dried ornaments and they look absolutely beautiful. I love the cells that happened on here. And I'm just applying a coat of Liquid X Gloss Varnish. So it's a good idea, even if you're going to put resin on your ornaments, to first put a coat of Liquid X Gloss Varnish. 
It'll help you if you have any silicone uh, showing up on there to so you'll know to clean it because it will reject the gloss varnish. And that way you could really clean it and then apply more gloss varnish before applying your resin. And that way you only waste your, you don't waste any resin rejecting and having to do a second coat of resin because it's more expensive. But it's super helpful and you could also just do gloss varnish and leave them like that and they look super pretty. So for the backs I ended up just painting with some brilliant blue and you can add a personalized message to the back of your ornament. You could put someone's name on here, the date, Merry Christmas, anything like that, or baby's first Christmas. And then I would just coat it with a layer of Liquid X gloss varnish as well to seal the back in. And that makes for a super special gift for someone or the kids friends if you're doing it with your kids or their teacher something like that I think it would be really cool and that way you have a beautiful painting on one side and a cute little saying on the other side so for a few of these I decided to actually add the resin the ornaments the bulb ornaments are a lot easier because they're a big circle basically and for the snowflake I just took a paintbrush that obviously I won't be keeping because the resin's going to dry in it it's really hard to get out but if you have an old paintbrush you can use it to apply the resin to the snowflake and with the snowflakes you have to kind of keep an eye on them sometimes you'll see the resin will move away from the edges or get rejected and I just kind of keep adding some resin onto it while it's you know I'll come back in an hour while it's sitting there and just double check it so I have a little bit of resin left in the cup I use the paintbrush and you can scrape along the edges of the snowflake and that'll uh, put the resin on there so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a blast creating your own special acrylic dip ornaments. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you so much everybody for subscribing, watching, liking, commenting on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much for using my Amazon links. There's no extra cost to you and they help me out greatly. So I really, really appreciate it guys. And have a blast with your ornaments. Thanks.